ABC Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, as promised, another 90 degree day out there today. Mostly sunny skies, rain chances down. That's the way it stays into the weekend. Eventually a better chance of storms as we head into Sunday and then going into next week. It looks like a typical summer pattern, but we'll be watching the tropics as well. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. First off, let's start with our beautiful drone shot from the crawfish ponds in Acadia Parish. Still got the crawfish going. Not much uh, time left here. Oh, I like this shot. Feel like I'm a bird here just checking out and see if I can pick off any crawfish myself. And you can see the pots out there. And again, lots of green. And eventually we'll be converting all over to rice as we get into the summer months for sure, most of us. And again, partly cloudy skies, typical cumulus clouds, not much growth on those uh, cumulus clouds. So a uh, pretty day out there across the area, but also hot as well. Nice shot there, Logan Thibodeau. Thank you for piloting the drone today. High pressure still in charge across West Texas. This is going to expand a little bit more so toward tomorrow and Saturday. That's going to allow for a better, uh, more heating during the day. So uh, 90 again tomorrow, but I think we might have a shot at 92 or 93 on Saturday. Meanwhile, this upper level low here has not moved a whole lot. This is the same low that uh, plagued Texas going back two weeks, got involved with our weather as we got into late last week and over the weekend. Now it's pushing off to the east, but still creating problems problems with the threat of flooding, uh, mainly across portions of Arkansas into Mississippi, where flood watches continue uh, through this evening. In fact, as we take a look at the Doppler radars, nothing going on close to home, uh, but you go off to the east, northeast of Baton Rouge. We are picking up on some storms right around I-55 north of Amy City and north and east of the Baton Rouge area, Zachary area as we get into the eastern parishes of Louisiana, but that stuff moving away and some strong storms uh, moving in the general direction toward Monroe and the I-20 corridor. This storm producing very heavy downpours, maybe a little hail as well. But look at the rainfall just in the last 24 hours from the Lake Providence area, northeast Louisiana into Mississippi over toward Greenwood. We're talking better than 10 inches of rain in some spots up to 15 inches of rain. So major flooding across this part of the world over the last day or so. For, so fortunately for us, staying well to the north of us. And our weather stays quiet as we look at the graph model. Fair to partly cloudy skies, mid 70s the start and then upper 80s, lower 90s tomorrow. That heat index pushing up to near 100 and not much green showing up. Tomorrow's going to be a 5% day or less. Going into Saturday, much the same. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day and temperatures uh, may be getting into uh, the 92 to 93 degree range. The graph model tends to go a little too hot, but notice the feels like index at 100. Now, eventually we see a weakness coming down for Sunday. The graph model pretty aggressive with that, giving us some showers and storms overnight, Saturday night into Sunday morning. But I think we're going to hold off on our best rain chances till Sunday afternoon. But we'll watch those model trends as we move forward. On the satellite imagery, you can see the enhanced activity up into Arkansas and Mississippi. The tropics quiet, no even real tropical waves to talk about. But we do notice moisture is building across Central America into Mexico and also the Campeche in the eastern Pacific and the models continue to insist that this moisture will continue to pool. We might see a tropical wave coming in and may that may start a little spin out here in the Gulf of Mexico about a week down the road. We'll continue to watch this and uh, look at the GFS model showing much the same. This is the earlier run. The new GFS is coming in right now, so we'll show you that at six o'clock. But the GFS also indicating uh, perhaps some development in the Bay of Campeche with a slow northward movement. Eventually this model actually takes a system into Texas, whereas the Euro wants to bring the moisture closer to us. But eventually we may have to deal with this moisture 10 to 12 days down the road. But that is conjecture at this point, so no worries for now. Mid 70s overnight tonight, a quiet night tomorrow, upper 80s to lower 90s. That heat index near 100 tomorrow night will get down into the mid 70s, a little bit cooler at night, but not really cool. We'll favor mid 70s over upper 70s. And then Saturday afternoon, a model going gangbusters on the heat. 
So if you're going to do some work outdoors, which plenty of us need to do, um, make sure you stay hydrated and take plenty of breaks. Warm and humid tonight. Fair skies. A little bit of a southerly breeze out there. Hopefully that keeps the mosquitoes somewhat at bay. Tomorrow, a nice warm finish to the week with mostly sunny skies. We'll top out near 90 or 91. That heat index could go as high as 100. Much the same into the weekend. I'm holding it in the lower 90s, but look at this. We hit 90 for the first time yesterday, and then we have 90s through the next week before uh, rain chances may be on the increase. And toward the end of that 10 day forecast, we are reflecting maybe a little bit more in the way of tropical influences, but we'll have to wait and see on that.